Folks, uh, we're going to keep things moving right along. Our next comedian was created in a laboratory experiment involving gamma rays and Captain Crunch. He has no superpowers, but is radioactive and will destroy the roof of your mouth. <laughs> He's also a professional filmmaker. Let's welcome Tony Leahy, everyone. Flipper. <laughs> Something undeniably sexy about that dolphin. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't the only one attracted to that dolphin. That's good to you. <clears throat> so this is my comedy bender. Um, or as I like to say to the lucky ladies I take to see my crib, this is going to be the next... Okay, got it. Screwed up. I'm going to take two on that one. <laughs> Welcome to my comedy bender. <laughs> Thank you. Or as I like to say to the lucky ladies I take to see my crib, this is going to be the best five minutes of your life. <laughs> and this is where I used to sleep when I was a baby. <laughs> I have a crib in my studio apartment, baby? I know we just met, but is it just me or do you have good birthing hips, baby? <laughs> Seriously, this cat's weird talking about birthing hips and dolphins and saying sincerely to emphasize a point. I haven't seen that done since the fat kid in Stand By Me. <laughs> sincerely, no one gets that. Sorry, I like to give voice to the voices in my head sometimes. <laughs> no, mother, they don't want to hear that one. <laughs> sometimes I just answer them, too. I'm not reaching in for my set list. I have my face. I just need something. <laughs> So if there's one thing I learned from this whole Tiger Woods debacle, besides the word debacle, <laughs> it's the importance of branding. Really, really. I mean, so I got a sponsorship deal now. That's right, that's right. You might have heard of it. It's something called, it's a publication called The Little Nickel. <laughs> see? See, it's already working. I have to be honest, it's kind of a reverse sponsorship type deal. I have to pay for them to get the sponsorship, but it's gonna pay, it's gonna pay off. At least that's what the guy said. So, so when I was younger, I used to want to use magic to see girls naked. You know, like any regular five-year-old boy. When I got older, I wanted to use magic to get women in bed. Now I realize that's kind of creepy. <laughs> but take a moment, like, did you see what happened there? That's, 
Right there, that moment, that's personal growth, people, what happened. <laughs> no magic trick. So, you know, I went from there wanting to use magic to get any, you know, a woman in bed to wanting to use magic to get the love of my life in bed, right? Then after a dry spell, it became using magic to get someone I could tolerate. In <laughs> after a really extremely long dry spell, extremely long dry spell, I wanted to use magic to turn my right hand into a vagina. <laughs> if you know a magic mentor, please. So thank you very much, that's my part of the show.